All right, we're back again. We uh, show you another little picture of the back end of the truck as I'm getting it built. This, uh, the one I left off before we had it up, all mocked up the body. What I'm doing here now is taking some uh, one by three square tubing, uh, eighth inch wall, and I'm gonna build me a subframe that'll go and bolt to the bottom of the floor of the four door sedan and then this will be welded to my frame and that will hold the body exactly where I want it to be. So you can see I've got some braces coming down to the stock frame and got that welded up good. Okay, up on the front end I've added a couple of, you can see I'm pointing at one uh, to mount the front end on. So now we're sliding the fender up on, we're getting the door marked because we're going to have a new opening on that door for the new fender location. So we're kind of using a tape and cutting and fitting and just working our way into that. Alright, I left enough that I'm folding that over so I've got a hemmed edge on that end. So there's my hemmed edge. Uh, I don't have any picture of it but then I built an inner piece that goes on that. But now I've got a nice gap there. Uh, I've swung the door open, make sure I'm going to clear okay. What I'm going to have to do is make sure I get a stop on it. This is the inner piece that I'm putting on. Uh, I'm kind of marking it out. It has a little bit of a crown to match the original, so I'm running it through my English, the English wheel. I'm getting the crown put in this. And then I run it through the bead roller so I can match the inner door jam area. And there you can see it set up now. Got the crown, got the bead roll in it. We'll weld that all up. And like I said, there's an under piece there that I don't have any pictures of. Uh, there it is welded up and pretty much taken care of. The other side, you can see I've got that bottom piece welded in. And then now here's the new piece that's going to tie all the door together. Okay, underneath that, to go to the body up to the door, you need to fill a piece there. So this is the area where that's going to sit in. Uh, I'm going to have to do some trimming on the fender or whatever. That will go. The fender will actually go up underneath this bolt to it. So here's the first fitting of it. Making sure how that's going, going in okay. Close the door. Okay, it's going to clear. I've got some paint clearance and stuff. Another picture of it. I'm going to have to build an inner structure and fill all this in. So here's a panel here that will go up inside to finish boxing that all in. So my fender has something to bolt to. Finish it in from the inside and welding that up. Got brought the pattern of the other side over to this side so I make sure the two doors and openings are going to look pretty much the same. Bottom of the fender was kind of bad so I ended up making a bottom piece of the fender. And we're back fixing the door now. Got them pretty well up and working. Okay, next problem, we got to move the cow, the cow or firewall back. So I cut it out, and I want to put something in there for strength. You don't want to leave just that. So I just split the, the original firewall, and slid it back, and then added a piece all around that to fill that in. Now I'm filling the center section of the firewall in. I've got a bead roller uh, and made the bead to match that and put that piece in. Below there, I'm going to leave that open because that's where my motor will sit. So I'm not going to mess with that underneath. On the doors, this is working, working on the back doors now. I uh, kind of cheated. I had some extra doors. So I went ahead and just cut the back half of the door. That finished my door jams and the bottom of the bottom of the door. And I had the outside piece made. I didn't have the English wheel or anything. Then. So anyway, click coated it in, welded it up, hang the door on the truck and it's looking looking pretty good. Now we've got a square door for that back door. Other side, putting it up, drilling the holes for clicos coming up. There you go. And then I cut and trim around them and butt weld all this together. Again, TIG welding everything so you can hammer and dolly it and work it out nice. There's that door hanging on to the truck makes it squared off now. Another look at it. 
All right, I jumped to the hood now. What I'm doing is making some, get some uh, chipboard and making a pattern. That line is where the body line is. I stepped way back in the shop so I could make sure this is following the body all along. Uh, I'll take my chipboard and I will transfer that to, oh uh, man, that's kind of getting ahead of myself. Just looking to make sure it looks good. Now I'm gonna transfer it to my aluminum. I'm gonna build this out of aluminum. I'm flipping the flange with a crescent wrench. This will go against the fender and the nose piece. You can see it's a little bit longer now. Now I can flip the edge on the top. It's pretty well both sides made the same pattern. So I just made another one on the front. And that gives me my two front pieces. There are two sides of the hood. You're getting ready to roll that top edge down. Okay, now by then I decided to get my new opening for the hood. Uh, first one was at the outside, second one the inside where I'm going to fold, do some folding up and down, and you'll see as the pictures come here. Uh, the first one was pulled up to make the uh, give it some strength, so I've got that pulled up to a 90. And then I'm going to pull, come up three quarters of an inch and pull that down to another 90. And then I use some blue tape along there, about a quarter inch or maybe a little more, and folded that down. So it's a almost a channel. And then I also got the front piece in there for the door lock or hood lock. Anyway, thanks guys. Talk to you next time.